Oh my god, it's all of you. The tale comes to life just like my granny said. I don't know why I expected something a little bit more impressive. A ball. Oh, she knows the secret. And I've been guarding it with my life. My lips are sealed, Granny didn't raise a snitch. I can make you feel me rich. We'll bottle the water and sell for fee and split the profit equally. Too bad. We would never. We just want to live our lives in peace. What is wrong with you people? You could be sultans, you could have kingdoms. You didn't think of this before. If you can put a price on eternal life, they'll pay anything and more. And all you have to do is show me to the water. And why would we say yes? Here's why. Your gun doesn't scare us. Of course. No, no please. Now it does. She's just a child. Here, take the water. Please let her go. Oh my god, there it is. Today is the day. They miss. The waiting is over. I'll show you the spring. The answer's so simple. So perfectly pure. Please let her go. The secret to eternal life and now or never. No! Don't look. Is she dead? Yes. Oh my god. We protected your family is what, and nobody needs to know. Over here, here you go. Who's that? Winnie! Step away from the child. I'm okay, Constable Joe. Winnie, you know this man? I'll be asking the questions here. Sideways. Who's responsible for this? It was me. I am, sir. And if I have to go to jail for it, I will. Wouldn't be jail, it'd be death by hanging. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it's not true. I hit her. With this. You two, take this lady out of the child's view. You're safe now, Wendy. Can you tell me the real story of what's going on here? It all started when that lady pulled a knife on Jesse at the fair. And then she followed us into the wood, pulled out a gun, and uh, I... On second thought, the less I know, the better. Now let me think. It was a child acting in self-defense. She turned it off easy. I'm thinking. All right. I believe you. You do? Well, of course I do. You're Nathan Foster's daughter, aren't you? Always. Now, who is the Swiss family, Robinson? These are my friends. I do. We're just passing through. We didn't get caught in the trouble. Good handshake. Well, first thing to do is reunite this girl with her poor family. Hugo, you'll take the body to town. Uh, Dad? Uh, I mean, sir. I don't think I can. Okay, here we go. I'll handle the body, and you make sure the girl gets back in one piece. Yes, sir. You'll make deputy yet. Is there anything we can do to help, sir? Sure is. I don't know y'all's story, but I bet it's longer than I've got time to hear. So at the risk of sounding unavailably, how about you folks pack up, leave my town, and never show up again? You could just pretend you never met us. Come on, man. Wait, Winnie. I know I should be apologizing to your mother, but all I really want to do is thank her. For what? Raising you. Here. To remember us by. I could never forget you. You just saved my life. I think it's the other way around. You reminded us that we've still got something to live for. Goodbye, Winnie. Goodbye, Angus. So long, kid. 